All right, lesson 92. I'm so glad to be sitting here with you. A few hours later, I have recovered my emotional <laughs> landscape. Um, I'm feeling much better. I was really emotional this morning and I literally could hardly read this lesson without choking up. Like sometimes you just feel the beauty of this course. You feel the unconditional love of this course. And yeah, like, cause I had traveled into a bit, wee bit of darkness, uh, <laughs> pretty bad for me. Um, you know, always being unconditionally accepted back into the light. <sighs> it really tugs on them heartstrings. And plus like once you had been crying for a while, like if somebody's like, how are you doing? You're like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're just, you have it at the ready. All right, well, I'm good now. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the trucks of hope and love and all the good stuff you sent. Um, you guys, I have a funny story for you. And then we'll get then we'll get with it. Talking about miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. All right, so you know how we love cookies, right? Well, one of the things that I had to do today was call and cancel my one car insurance to switch it over to this other insurance and you know how that all that fun stuff goes. Well, when I find, well, I'm on hold, not too terribly long, okay, the first time, um, and the lady that answers says, hi, my name's Cookie, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? And right then and there, like my whole world changed because I was like, you see, the universe is looking out for me. Like the universe literally sent me a cookie today. So hi, Cookie. <laughs> Um, I just was absolutely in love with her and her name, Cookie. So anyways, on that note, cookies are seen in light and light and strength are one. That's all I could do today, you guys. Like, I am running late for work. I'll probably be editing this in between waiting on tables. <laughs> Like, it looks like I'm taking orders, but I'm actually editing this video. All right, so shh, don't. Um, let me tell you what Jesus said today. Did I even take Jesus notes yet? Oh God, I'm going to be doing this all out of order, but I will tell you what Jesus said today. Um, I don't actually even know yet. So let's find out together. So lesson 92, Tina Jesus, TJ basically said, what you believe about the world is what you'll see. So if you're constantly using your body's eyes to look out at idols and all you're going to see is the darkness and illusion of the world. So you got to start looking and seeing differently. You look for miracles. You look for the beauty in everyone um, and all. And that's what you start to see. And that's exactly what has been happening with me lately. Like I am getting more miracle minded. I can see the beauty in pretty much almost anyone. I'm getting pretty good. <laughs> so what you believe about the world is what you'll see. Don't look at idols, look for miracles, and yeah, start looking for the beautiful nature in all. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Now, for just because, good, good, he took care of it. Now, I just wanna tell you another funny story because I'm in a better mood now, and so then, after I canceled it, I realized we're talking about my car insurance still. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought this video was supposed to be about A Course in Miracles. It is. Hold on. <laughs> so then I had to call back because when I talked to Cookie, I gave her the wrong date. I said to cancel it immediately and really I should have said another date and da da da. I don't want to get in trouble or drive without being insured. So I call back get booped around and finally land in the, um, in the, the arms. I okay, guess. Sure. Thanks, Connie. I landed in the arms of Connie. Um, the second wonderful human that I've connected with today over the phone, like everybody that keeps being put in my proximity is so beautiful. And she had an awesome laugh, great sense of humor. And yeah, we literally were howling on that phone call cause we were busting jokes. <laughs> So hi, Connie. Thanks. And yeah, I invited both Cookie and Connie. Oh yeah. At this point, I'm inviting every single person I can to do A Course in Miracles with me. I don't care if I am that girl who works it into every conversation. Like if it's there and it feels right, I'm telling you about it. 
Yeah, because I'm on lesson 92. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. So this is the day that we're supposed to sit two times, 20 minutes, close our eyes to basically join our little self with our capital S self, our little self with our bigger, higher, greater self, the real self that is you. So that's where we're gonna find our strength. That's where we're going to get the support that we need. That's when we're gonna understand that the light of strength is constant. And um, yeah, sure as love, forever glad to give itself away because it cannot give but to itself. So yeah, love wants to extend itself because that's what love does. That's what source does. That's what God does. So it, it is God's strength in you that is the light in which you see, as it is his mind with which you think. So it's like our mind is in God's mind, God's mind is in our mind. Like it's pretty an amazing lesson, certainly one worth reading over again or <laughs> going to Tina Louise Spalding because she actually read it today without choking up, whereas me, I was like... Uh, choking on my um, hormones and emotions and feelings and it's just been like a really overwhelming week and I'm so glad to have not gotten drowned in the darkness and uh, really have this Course of Miracles to fall back on or into or however you want to ex explain it. It says, let yourself be brought unto yourself. Its strength will be the light in which the gift of sight is given you. Leave then the the dark a little while today. So, okay, so we spent 12 hours in darkness, Sadie. Good for you. Way to go exploring. <laughs> but let's leave that now and we will practice seeing in the light. So that is not me staring at um, this ring light here that, that miraculously makes me look a little bit younger. What I actually want to do is close the body's eyes, close the body's eyes and ask truth to show me how to find the meeting place of self and self where light and strength are one. Pathways of Light and Science. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook, Lesson 92, Insights. Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. It seems right now that the darkness of the ego thought system is being acted out on a grand scale. We are seeing that attack begets attack begets attack. Graphic images of death and destruction make it seem very real. It seems to confirm that the ego thought system is firmly established never to be undone. This, of course, is the goal of the ego. Like a puffer fish that swells up to look larger and more menacing, the ego makes fearsome images to make itself look real. Yet this show of strength is just an attempt to hide the underlying sense of weakness Remembering that light and strength are one and another lesson which says God is the light in which I see, we remember that our strength comes from our complete dependence on God, our source. The ego is the idea of independence, being different, unique, special. Yet to establish this independence, the ego must cut itself off from the source of strength. Now perceiving itself as weak, it must find ways to hide its weakness. Attack is its chief mechanism for hiding its sense of weakness. Attack always comes out of weakness. Strength sees no need for attack, for it knows itself as invulnerable. Judgment can only come out of a sense of weakness. The ego, perceiving itself as weak, projects that weakness onto an outside world and judges that weakness in an attempt to make itself look strong. Thus, anytime I judge, I am doing the same thing as sending an army into battle or making weapons of mass destruction. It is all the same error. 
I cannot personally go to Iraq or any other place of military conflict and stop the battle. But with the help of the Holy Spirit, I can rise above the battleground in my mind, let go of my insistence on specialness, and let the Holy Spirit shine his light that I may, might see the strength I share with God. Here I find peace. Here I find safety. Here I find innocence, and there is no need to judge. Here in this place of light, I remember my source and my strength. From this place, I offer the peace of God to all. I see the innocence everywhere, and I remember only love is real. This is how I bring peace to conflict and shine the conflict away. What happens between bodies has no effect on the Son of God. As I remember my unity with my source and my strength, I help all God's sons remember too. This is how I can help. I call upon the strength of God in me today to help me bring this light and strength with me in every moment that I may always bless with my thoughts and deeds. Today, my job is to let myself be brought onto myself. I do this by being willing to open my mind to the light, to the strength of my true self. This light and strength is always there, waiting to give all of itself to itself. In the light, all of the little self personalities disappear. All of the false masks of differences in individuality disappear. All the false stories disappear. All sense of conflict disappears. All sense of weakness and vulnerability disappears. What remains is the peace of God, the love of God, and the joy of God. God's strength is constant because it is changeless. It is always there eternally. If I want to think that I am separate from it, I can experience that illusion. But the truth is, I am still one with the light and the strength of God. This can never change. I can believe in stories or I can believe in the truth. It is always my choice. I let the stories go as I let myself be brought unto myself. This is my answer to every sense of weakness, every problem I may perceive. This is the only answer that works. This is where my strength lies. Opening up my mind to the quiet, eternal love of God is where my happiness lies. It is all I want. It is all I need. I am slowly but surely finding true strength in myself by committing to these lessons and the course. I can't begin to understand what the lesson means when it says my body's brain cannot think. But the mere fact that I am willing to believe there is something other than this gives me much hope. I have perceived much darkness in my life. But the tiny specks of light I have experienced give me enough strength and willingness to carry me. I would guess that is the strength of God in me this lesson refers to because it is the only logical explanation I have. Although I probably can't begin to even fathom what my Heavenly Father's strength can do for me, these lessons help me stay focused on thoughts that steer me toward my goal. Holy Spirit, please place my gratitude for these lessons 
at my father's altar for me and thank you for your constant guidance. Amen. Pathwaysoflight.org So in the beginning of the lesson, it says, you also believe the body's brain can think. Ha ha. <laughs> if you but understood the nature of thought, you could but laugh at this insane idea. That's what it says. It's like the Course in Miracles is like, it's as if you thought you held the match that lights the sun, you dumbass. <laughs> it doesn't say dumbass, but it meant it. Yeah, I'm definitely a genuine representative of A Course in Miracles. <laughs> All right, on that note, I'm glad I'm feeling better. I hope you're feeling better. I hope you're starting to really get what this is all about. Don't you ever worry about me. All right, you don't you ever worry about me. But definitely extend love to me, and I extend love back to you. I really appreciate that so much. All right, you guys, lesson 92. Miracles are seen in light and light and strength are one. All right, on that note, 